Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Am I the a-hole for asking my son to bring my six-week-old granddaughter to visit me without his fiance, posted by a throwaway account? My son and his fiance, Jen, have a six-week-old daughter, Lily. She also has a seven-year-old son that is not my son's child, but I still consider him my grandbaby. I used to get along really well with Jen and told everyone she was like a daughter to me. But when she got pregnant, she started acting weird towards me. Like when I asked to be in the room for the delivery, she said a clipped no, despite letting her seven-year-old son's dad's mum in the room for his delivery. No big deal, it's her choice. But when I went to visit in the hospital afterwards, she acted really put off that I was there. I figured she was just tired and left after 20 minutes to give her space. But then, it continued. I've stopped in to see everyone about five times since she had the baby. And every single time that I walk in, she gets really quiet. Whenever I'm holding the baby, she's hovering. She keeps snapping at me over small things. Like how I'm holding the baby because she's crying. Obviously she doesn't like that, so stop. Or snapping at me for things I say to the baby, like when she starts fussing, I said, you won't get your own way with me. You can't play me like that in her baby voice, trying to calm her. And she goes, she's four weeks old. How exactly is she trying to play you? Then she got livid and actually kicked me out of the house one time because she picked up the baby for making the smallest of noises. And I told her the baby was going to get used to being held all the time if she keeps doing that. And she said, well, it's a good thing she's my child and I don't have to listen to your crying it out BS. Well, I went there on Thanksgiving and apparently it was her mother's first time meeting the baby. And of course, the baby was all smiles and loved her grandma. But when I got the chance to hold the baby, she immediately started crying and was promptly taken from me. I felt very slighted. I asked my son if he would bring the baby to visit me without his fiance because I feel like his fiance's attitude towards me is the reason why the baby screams every time I hold her. I think she's definitely picking up on the hostility. I don't even know why she dislikes me now, but asking her currently would be pointless. He told me that he would absolutely not bring his daughter to my place without her mother because he wouldn't do that to his fiance, who has never been away from the baby thus far. I told him that they were purposely ruining my chances at a relationship with my granddaughter, and he said that wasn't true, and that I need to stop pushing my old-fashioned beliefs which is the first time I've heard of this. Am I the a-hole for expecting him to bring my granddaughter to me without her mother so that I can have a relationship with her? I think this baby can sense evil. Esme Weatherwax says, You don't know why she dislikes you? You've never heard anyone saying you are pushing your beliefs before? Really? Because I've been reading this for like 30 seconds and I already know exactly why she doesn't like you and it's because you're pushing your beliefs on her. You're the a-hole, you're making this whole situation about you. Let them be a family together. Let them set the rules for how the baby's cared for, unless they're doing something objectively dangerous. You might spoil the baby if you pick her up, is not objectively dangerous. Let go of how you're deprived of what you think is your right to be present at one of the most vulnerable moments in her life. You can't ruin a relationship with a six-week-old baby, but you're well on your way to ruin the relationships with your son and daughter-in-law. Back off, way off, if he ever hoped to be welcome in their lives. Am I the a-hole for making my husband feel bad about having his mother over for dinner? Posted by Alone Definition 9627. My husband and I have been together for six years. Combined, we have four children. My stepbabies are 12 and 10. My bi babies are 9 and 3 months. Obviously, the youngest is our together baby. Now, since I gave birth, I've had a very hard time eating. I can be super hungry, but... More often than not, if I actually think about eating, I feel nauseated or just grossed out. I can't actually bring myself to eat actual meals. Stuff like crackers or finger food are fine, but big meals just really sicken me. The thought of eating it anyway. So, since I've had our daughter, I've eaten a total of maybe five hot meals. Yes, I've absolutely been in full contact with doctors and they're monitoring me and we're trying to come up with a game plan. But anyway, given this... I hardly ever eat dinner. I usually cook it, plate it out for my husband and kids, and then leave my plate empty because I can't stomach it. 
But here's where I could be wrong. My husband knows I have a very hard time eating. Most days, he tries force feeding me, honestly. But yesterday, I texted him saying, making shepherd's pie tonight, drooling emoji. I can't wait. I didn't say I was going to eat, so maybe that's where I went wrong? But on the other hand, I never text him with a drooling emoji after saying I'm making something either, so maybe he should have picked up on that? I don't know. I was starving anyway, and I was actually looking forward to having dinner. So, I get done cooking and call everyone to the table, as I usually do. And the next thing I know, my mother-in-law is walking through the door saying, I hope I'm not late, and then sits down in my seat and grabs the extra plate meant for me. I guess I was kind of shell-shocked because, like, I just stood there. I didn't even know what to say. Mother-in-law just started digging into the dish before my kids were even served too, which pissed me off. I don't like saying out-of-pocket things in front of my kids, so I just told them to dig in and start walking off. My stepson, a 12-year-old boy, whispered, But Dad, I think Mum was going to eat tonight. And my husband said, Babe, were you going to eat tonight? You can take my helping. I just ignored him because I was so mad, I couldn't think of anything to say at that moment. I needed to cool off. I told my stepson, It's fine, with a smile, and went to the other room. Well, after my mother-in-law left, my husband came out and asked me, What was that about? And said, You could have taken my meal, babe. It's not a big deal. I kind of snapped and said, He shouldn't have even invited his mother over to eat without asking me, without knowing if I was hungry or not. I brought up the fact that I'd literally texted him a drooling emoji indicating that I was indeed hungry or excited for the meal. He just said, Yeah, but you never eat. Now I feel like an effing loser, thanks, and walked off. My stepson unfortunately overheard this, and he came out with his plate and handed it to me and said, I stole some more before it was eaten so you could have some, mum. Literally the sweetest effing kid, I swear. But now I feel like an a-hole because I never really do eat hot meals, so it was safe for my husband to assume that last night would be no different. And the fact that my stepson felt he needed to do something about it as well. Am I the a-hole? My husband is still sulking over this. Even your stepson noticed that you were going to eat and he didn't even get the drooling emoji as a clue. Edit. I only make enough for the people who are supposed to be here, myself included. I always make myself a portion as I never know how I'm going to feel about eating. But every night, I only make enough for us. My husband knows this because there's never any leftovers. The portion my stepson brought me was maybe half a scoop. As for my mother-in-law, she always does stuff like that. In her eyes, adults come first, hence why she grabbed food before the kids had been served. Because the adults worked all day. What about the mother who cooked it? By that logic, shouldn't you be served first? My husband doesn't hold the same view, but never speaks up to her when she does it. My mother-in-law and I don't get along and never have, so she probably wouldn't have cared even if she knew that I wanted to eat. We usually don't speak. Also, her taking my seat meant there was nowhere else to sit. I had no other option than to leave the room. And despite my husband offering me his serving, he stayed seated while dishing out his plate without looking at me while he was offering it. I know him well enough to know that means he was hungry and banking on eating regardless of having offered up his plate. Down in the comments, dbgirl83 says, Not the a-hole. If a 12-year-old boy sees it, your husband should too. Your mother-in-law taking so much food when three children needed to eat from it is disrespectful. But your husband inviting someone over without telling you or asking you while you're the one making dinner, that's the problem here. Yeah, and doesn't your husband care that you're starving and recovering from birthing his child? Even after the mistake was revealed, he seriously cared more about filling his own belly? Shame you can't dump the husband and mother-in-law and keep the stepkids. I told my friend, those fake tits didn't keep your man home, now did they? Our next post comes from the Am I the A-hole subreddit. Posted by Bubbly Technology 804. I've got a friend who I'll call Tiffany. The backstory on this girl is kind of funny because she used to be my high school bully, but we ended up as close friends. Although we became friends, that hasn't stopped her from being snarky over the years, but... I overlooked it because I figured that's just her personality. At least I did until now because, I am she crossed the line. 
Tiffany likes to brag that her and her husband have been together since high school, that she's a real estate agent working at a high-end company, that she makes really good money and overall has a nice lifestyle. No hate there, but lately this girl's had it out for me. So, me and a couple of girlfriends had a get-together at her place. She wouldn't stop targeting me. It's not verbatim, but this is basically what she said. So, what's the deal with y'all? Why hasn't he married you? It's been years, girl. Oh, I know. He probably won't marry you because you're kind of flat. She said for years that my body is why my boyfriend won't marry me. She's gotten her entire body done, and now that she has a nice body, she's shaming me. She used to be skinny too, ironically enough. So I clapped back and said, those fake tits didn't keep your man home, now did they? Because her husband has a history of cheating. And they all called me a bee and kicked me out. Her poking at me, I guess brought back some resentment from the old days of her bullying me, so I think I snapped. It was really hurtful to my self-esteem to be honest. Was I the a-hole? Absolutely not. Why is it okay for her to keep taking stabs at you, but the second you bite back, you're the a-hole? Get some better friends, and IMO, she's still your bully. I found a picture of my sister's sex toys on my husband's phone. Our next story comes from the Relationship Advice subreddit, posted by Alpha Peach 822 My mum and sister went out of state on a trip last week, and they paid my husband to check on the dogs every day and feed them. Unbeknownst to me, whilst he was there at some point, he snooped through my sister's stuff and took pictures of her sex toys. She hides it in a basket in her closet. My sister and I are extremely close, so I recognised exactly what it was as soon as I saw the picture. I found the picture hidden in a keepsafe app on his phone. I am horrified and disgusted. He was trying to say that he was going to use it as blackmail, and then said he doesn't know why he did it. I'm so sickened, like, what the F? What should I do? What would you do in this situation? I've already chewed him out, and he knows I'm so pissed off. Not sure if this is worth divorce or not. Edit. The truth comes out. He took a photo to wank to it later. Still disgusting and horrible. I mean, <laughs> that was kind of obvious. Why would he want to blackmail your sister? And how would a picture of her sex toys work? Even if that was somehow true, it wouldn't be any better. I don't know if this is divorce worthy, but I wouldn't make my sister uncomfortable by inviting him over to any more family gatherings until she okayed it. Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.